assistive technology is an umbrella term for a broad range of devices, software, and tools that help any person with a disability complete a task. In the broader sense, this includes something as low-tech as a crutch to help someone walk or a magnifying glass to assist reading, or as high-tech as a robotic prosthesis or image recognition software running on a smartphone. It can include something as general as browser zoom or as specific as a custom-designed game controller. It can be a separate physical device like a braille display, or be implemented completely in software like voice control. It can be built into an operating system like some screen readers, or it can be an add-on like a Chrome extension. And assistive technology in particular is pretty blurry. After all, all technology has been built to assist people with some task or another. And things often move in and out of the assistive technology category. For example, one of the earliest commercial speech synthesis products was a talking calculator for the blind. And now we see speech synthesis popping up all over the place from driving directions to virtual assistants. On the other hand, technology which is general purpose often finds an assistive use. For example, people may use their smartphone's camera zoom to get a better look at something small in the real world. In the context of web development, we're still talking about a diverse range of technologies that we want to support. People may interact with your website using a screen reader or braille display, with a screen magnifier, via voice control, using a switch device, or some other form of assistive technology which adapts the page to create a more specific interface that they can use. For all of these technologies, ensuring that our websites support assistive technology users is going to come down to programmatically expressed semantics. But before we can explain exactly what programmatically expressed semantics refers to, we need to talk a little bit about affordances. 